cloudy day sight fishing in open waters and skies isn't easy. Extreme glare makes the angles tight, acute to bank walking, and leaves us open to spooking every single trout in a stream. Extreme care, know-how, and serious consideration to pace and cadence is applied. Patience and adhering to methodology, allowing time for the stream to reveal itself while knowing what you're looking for in the water and how to approach and cast to the trout you find is an intense package. It's on these days when nothing happens until it all happens. Good trout aren't seen until you're standing a rod length away and you have to cast now in order to have a chance. In this video we share all the above plus how we communicate with each other knowing what one sees the other simply can't in order to land some great brown trout. Well, we've got a cloudy day and I've got a lot of glare where I'm at, but Dave's up high above me. He's being my eyes right now and taking a good long look to see what he sees in this particular run. So far, we've just seen a giant eel. <laughs> um, things gotta be easily, probably six feet long. The only thing I'm able to see is pretty much kind of below me and slightly downstream. Yeah, so we split the river like we always do as much as we can when we're trying to sight fish. And right now, all that I can see and all that I'm focused on is right across the bank on Dave's side. I can't see anything from about the middle of the river to my side, so Dave's covering that off and I'm covering off his bank and basically staying together even as much as we can. We've had quite a bit of rain. Right below you, love. Yeah? Just roll. Pause it. I'm roll. and right, at, right in front of you at the bank. Okay. Just do it. Just right on the bank. On the bank. Bring it back. Okay, drop it. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Just hold it there. Yeah. Okay, there's just don't do anything. Set! Nice, Dave. Well, wow, that was all Dave. That was all Dave. He saw this, he just picked this fish up and was able to communicate. Wow, okay. Nicely done, Dave. Okay. Yeah, he was just coming down the bank slow. Yeah. And I was just looking at him. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. You ready? Yes, I am. Thank you. Yeah, he just, he was just coming right by you where you're standing right now. And you couldn't see, could you? No, oh, I couldn't see anything. I was just looking out over top of the tussocks. Yeah. And all I could do was place my fly where you said, and I knew that it would just be a timing thing. Yeah. Of you tell me when to set. Because I couldn't see anything. Not that was wicked awesome for me. Yeah, I bet. Not easy to even see this fish right no, it's, now. It's not huge, but it's a nice fish. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen that much. What I mean is upstream of me to try to see where I can bring him up. Yeah. Actually turn his head. Should be able to do that soon, but then that said, you know, try to lift those heads. Here we yeah. go. Am I free? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Cool. Up. Up. No. Oh, I was close. Wish I could have filmed that. Oh, I bet. It was so awesome to watch. But boy, I wouldn't have caught that fish without all of your sighting. No. Of it, that's just real. You'd right? never have seen it. No. It was not even a foot off your bank. Yeah. Straight off the kind of corner of his mouth. There we go, there we go, there we go. Give him a Beautiful fish. Yeah. Wow, thanks so much, Dave. That was awesome, love. That's spectacular. That's, that's <laughs> and that's, teamwork, eh? that's really called working together. Exactly what I was gonna say. Wicked, wow. <laughs> A little beat up he is, but 
right behind his peck fin. Awesome, good. Got that? Well, what was really neat about that, guys, is that uh, my gut just said to me as we were walking along, you know, I need to be ready. And that's the thing about these particular streams is that, and especially when you're talking a long glide like this where fish can cruise, is that you kind of need to be ready because if that fish decides it wants to drop and exactly what it was doing and Dave could see it coming along that bank, you got to be quick and you can't be, you know, messing around with trying to get your fly out and ready. This was just a simple up to one o'clock down on the water. I couldn't even see my flies when that fish decided to come and take because it w I was behind tussocks and it was, you know, it was too, just a little too far away and, and, and the tussocks were hiding it from me. So all about just being ready um, whenever, whenever you can, in, especially in circumstances like this. But that was a really cool fish. I love it when, you know, we can work together like that. It's gonna be a day like that in a lot of ways just because sighting, we can't both see everything. You know, you get, a, you get a sunny day on this water and it's a different story. You can often see a lot more. Uh, so yeah, really cool stuff. That was really cool because Amelia, her fish that she just caught started about up here and I was watching it come all the way down that bank, about a foot off that bank, barely moving, not even this fast. And I said to her, just get the fly on the water in front of you, right off your bank. And it just kept coming down and down and down and down. And it got to the point where she was behind those tussocks over there. And she just flipped it out on the water, but it was about six feet off the bank. And I said, now pull that right back to the bank. And sure enough, when she did that, uh, she still had to hold the fly in place to allow the fish because it was only going the same speed as the current and her fly was drifting at the same speed. It was like, you're never going to intersect, so hold it there. And sure enough, right in that divot there, right between those tussocks is where she was, right by that foam on the water, and the fish just came, finally came down and she held it there and it just came over and sucked in her caddis. Really cool to be able to sight like that for her. Just going to try that undercut. Because you never know. These are the days you spook fish. You know? You can't help it. Yeah. I can only see against the far bank right now. Okay, well, I'm looking at, I'm looking at everything else for you. Yeah, no, that's cool. Try to work the pillows and what I can. I'm just gonna keep fishing my way. No matter where you are, it's not easy seeing. No. That's just real. Now from about the foam line down the middle over to my side is kind of all you to work. Yeah, I'm just pitching it in there because I can't see. There he is. Downstream take on the beetle. I knew that just working that water was going to produce, you know? Eventually. When you know it's good water and you know there's fish, you just kind of say, yeah, I'm just going to work that. Nice male. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, my gut was, why are we walking upstream to bypass this water? Even though we know it. Well, the reason we know it is because we fish it, and if we fish it and there's good fish, why well, walk past it just to get to the stuff that we want to fish upstream? I was like, it wasn't sitting well with me, you know? Yep. Why would I do that to myself? No tennis racket. Big male. Big headed male. Yeah, wicked. Happy for you. Oh, me too. Hey? Okay. That's the gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. Look at the size of that head. Hey, oh, skinny bugger, That's but okay, coming in. Gorgeous. you got him. Yeah, you bet. Anytime. Okay, right, down up go. Yep. There we go, love. Whew. All right. <laughs> I love that stuff. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, truth is, guys, you know, start of the day, we fished this creek a couple times, a few times, a trip, and we've already fished it once, and so we thought 
let's just park over here cut across cut past and just get up another kilometer there's uh, water that we wanted to get to and just fish from there up to make sure that we get way up valley I was like, well, we're here at 8.30. We're not, normally don't start till about 9.30. Extra hour, there's lots more water in the creek and the fish are probably not been fished to for a bit. And we know there's a big fish here. So what are we walking past this for when you could, yeah, so just go, the, the, the sighting was poor and there's probably another fish further upstream. But just cause you can't see and you just want to get further up valley, well, wait a second, the conditions say you're probably gonna catch that fish. So instead of walking past, I was like, no, no, let's come back over here. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Shock, <laughs> right? So. An important place to prospect, right? When you can't see and yeah. you know, you were, neither of us could see actually. I had glare and Dave had this gorgeous trough, right? Yeah. And did he come out from the trough? I yeah, I just pitched it against that undercut further up, smack a couple feet off the bank and it just came downstream right at me with the head down, turn set. So there you go. Let's go try to find another one. How well do you see? Oh, I can just see your bank only about two and a half, three feet up. Okay. Yeah. There should be another fish around. So anybody that's watching this, see this, I've got a rod length plus. So I'm, I'm a good 10 feet out from the bank and I'm just reaching over, right? The reason for that is I'm trying to keep all this grass between myself and the creek because I can't see. And while I can't see the fish, I put money that these fish would see me. So I just have to kind of work my way along, stay back reach and just keep working there's going to be another fish here it's just a matter of where it's going to show and will it actually eat my my beetle that's the wiggle i get a lot of questions why do i wiggle as i lift because you want to make sure that you get your surface tension unglued from your fly line but you also want to make sure that you get free of all this shoreline stuff that should let whatever is here glow for you hey yeah it sure is it's putting it in a great spot i don't see anything left of that yeah see that wiggle the wiggle lift yeah i'm just gonna work the pillow edge of that big boulder in the middle yeah, please do. there should be one just in here somewhere that fish his tail here yeah Yeah. He was there in his tail. Oh, he just dropped. He's just in left. Left of it, right? He's swimming up the street. Okay, so you're going to get a camera on that? Or? Yeah, I sure am. Okay. Now. Yeah. yeah. He's just in the top left side of it, right? He's just on the top side of it. Top left. He's just behind the fourth rock, right? Yeah. No worries. Yeah, you're right. He's just the Okay. I'm just seeing a shapey smudgy, so you let me know when you're ready. Now he's just down off this rock. He's be back to number three. Yeah, he's just above number three. Let me know when you're ready. You still on him? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. There it is. Right through his lips right through his mouth super slow eat he's just off the he's right back there again i'm gonna rest him i gotta change gonna change put on a little caddis yeah he was so slow wow that was slow big slow skinny male okay go up it's definitely a fish under the current okay um uh, off my bank where that Phone just came through. Okay, off your bank. Air, air to your side. Air to my side. Yeah. How far up? See, see the flowers at my rod tip? Yeah. Okay, go upstream three feet and over six. Put that on the water. Okay, a little higher on your side, please. Okay. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. shit. You put it on his head, so oh, Jesus. I want you to air to your side My and side? a little further up. Okay, here we go.
No, no. Okay. Fuck. Not that much. Okay. On the water. Okay. Well, oh, that? that was okay, but I don't know what to do with this. Shit. Wow. Me neither. Draw again, please. Okay. There you go. Yep. Nice, Dave. Wow, great eye. Really great eye again. Jeepers, eh? He was sitting underneath that current on that rock. Yeah. And he showed up with a coppery tail. Wow. And I was like, wait a second, that's a fish. Yeah, no kidding, There's hey? No yeah. Good job, love. Hey, thank you. Got a wound on his back, eh? Wow, just like the other one did here. Yeah, and they're not healthy, healthy coming out of that high water. No, they're not, are they? Yeah, we should be able to do it in here. Yep, well. Gotta try to get him into slack over here. Be my best bet, but. No, 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 it's not gonna happen like that. Okay, come on, come on, come on, up, up. and stab it, yes. <laughs> wow, he's got a couple wounds. Either side, he really got it bad. Yeah, another together fish, all right. That was really all you, Dave, because again, I couldn't see that thing at all. It's amazing, right? Like you can be literally two rod lengths away and you still can't, you still can't see it. They don't care in this light. No. You gotta make sure tippet's free of them. Yeah, so angle it out. And yeah, it. sure thing. On its side, a touch. Does that work for you? Here we go. Ready? Nice. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. Oh. Boy, that was a a serious just together moment again. I couldn't see guys and that riffle. Dave had a good eye on the riffle, and he could see just enough for me, you know, to be able to say, hey, okay, I see this fish and try to describe it to me. Again, not a lot of amazing landmarks. Um, you know, again, we're talking certain foam and certain sides of the river, but, uh, and apparently I, I landed on its head a couple times, but it, it didn't matter with that fish, which was, cloudy day and riffles. again, cloudy day, right? You say, and riffles and, uh, you know, as long as I got the drift to him, he was going to eat. And that was cool. And it's, you know, it's on these days that, again, working together, somebody else sighting for you is really going to be your best chance um, because you're not going to necessarily see that fish and you're just going to have to go at the water where they tell you to. So. Okay, so once again, uh huh. a riffle fish, do you see that rock? with the grass on it right in front of you. Yes. He's three feet directly right. Okay. So if you went two feet to the right and three feet upstream on the outside of that rock. Okay. So again, you cannot come all the way over. Okay. See that foam line coming down the right side of that rock? Yep. You want to be three feet upstream of that, one foot to the right. Oh boy. Okay. Three feet upstream, one foot to the right. Oh boy. Maybe two feet to the right, but that would do not go any further right than that. Okay, see Let's the go. clump of foam? What? Okay, could that clump of foam above it. So I'm going three feet above the rock. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you just came all the way over to a foot away from that rock. Okay. Make sure you put it just a couple feet upstream of that rock on the outstream, uh, on my side of it. Your side of it. Yeah. Let's just a couple it. feet. On the water. Okay, go up, one more foot, and slightly right. That's locked. See what he does with that. Here he comes. No. You got to go okay. just a foot to your right on that cast. Perfect cast. Yep. Oh, that was him. I sat on him, too. Wow, I can see. He's still there. He's there. I can still see that shape. So now you know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go one more time here. Spook. No, he's, he's gone, gone now. Well, let's have a look in this 
flat water by the willow. Yep. How do you see under that willow so far? Really good. Okay. Just giving it a really strong look. There's only one. There's one somewhat good looking smudge. I don't see anything fins on it wise. Um, just your side uh, up kind of there. Uh, about five feet to the right of that one exposed uh, branch that's sticking down into the water. But I don't. Yeah, I will. If I see something that I know is definitively him or that is makes a lot of sense, it's not a fish now, what I was looking at cool. as I got closer. Can't see. Do you much. see a little tussock on shore right below you? Don't move. Yep. Yep. Okay, right beside you there? Yeah. If you go up and that first seam out, yep. about five feet above that tussock and three feet out is the fish. So you gotta be up on that first seam up there. It's not a big fish, not far. See this rock right below my rod tip? Yes. Straight across the river on your side of that seam. Okay. Don't expose yourself. No, not going to. It's going to be a hot female. Okay. Not big, but it's going to be hot. Okay. It's not a far cast. No. Okay. A rod length, two rod lengths, maybe? On the water. Stand it on the water. On its head, Amelia. Okay. You keep going on these fish's heads. There you go. Here it comes. Refuse. Wait. One more cast, please. Okay. Same spot. Out. Yep. Got him. On the dry, hey? I just saw that. That's cool. Maybe he'll go upstream on me. <laughs> that would be nice. Good luck to that. Yeah, I know. And I don't need to go down into that. Yeah, it's coming back up. It's a hot little female. Yep. Yeah. In my neck. Oh, in my neck. Come on now. It's just flapping so much. There we go. <laughs> right on, man. That was really cool, Dave. It's crazy. I think I got a slight view of this one. At one point, I was like, okay, I think that I know what Dave's talking about. I can see a little bit of that coppery. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Thank you, hey? Oh, well, again, that's <laughs> that another was... fish that you had no chance of seeing. No. The fish so far today, because two days ago, we got two inches of rain in the area. And so the water is up a little bit. It's colder and it's off color a bit and it's still cloudy. That's going to change. It's going to get windy today. But because of that we went through a weekend where there's probably nobody fishing up here and the week prior was kind of crappy weather i suspect nobody's fished here in a week at least and because the water levels are up and cooler the fish are you know it's not a big pushy river it's just a perfect place for the fish to come out from underneath the banks settle in nose into those little shelving buckets in the mid river and that's where you're picking them up i'm looking from where you're at right now you can't see a thing yeah. me, me up on the bank I can't see everything, but I can see enough to say that's a fish from about two rod lengths away, which is why I'm going real slow, walking up the bank, and it's actually at about that angle. Um, and that, I, I'm barely seeing the fish because I'm glared as well, but it's slow enough, dark enough that we have a chance. Yeah, and, and they're in that choppy enough water so yeah. far, those riffles that, you know, they're not spooking. We can no. get pretty close to them, exactly. right? And you can look back. But that and... might change with the sun coming out. Yeah, exactly. And that's just it, guys. I mean, I really couldn't see. You can see how much glare there is right in front of me. But the neat thing was, is Dave really described well uh, this particular little tussock right on, right on the bank here. And I could just look over this big tussock and see, and see that smaller tussock and be able to just put my fly upstream of it 
and hey, that's where I actually got the take. So really cool when you can describe to your buddy just, you know, as best you can. And then they have a go and you get a hookup. That's called really working together teamwork. And it's some of the coolest stuff that we yep. can do out on these streams. Yeah. So this is a situation where we're coming into this corner pool. Dave's got height and he's trying to see into the tail out before I walk up because right now I've just got a whole bunch of glare. I can see a tiny bit in the tail out from my side here um, off of his bank, but I can't see anything on um, my side. You pretty much eliminated from this tussock in front of me across. Okay. Above the boulder, Kate. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna go around this stuff. Yeah, I can see some of that above the boulder. Yeah. Nothing. I can see everything. But I can't see my shore at all. No, we're just methodically working. Anytime there's an incoming shelf or riffle, it's that little bucket and you guys can see how brutally glary that water is. So I'm basically looking at that angle. Maybe, I'll just do this, maybe a little bit upstream, but because of that sky, because of that everything, you know, this is, this 60 meters is gonna take us 20 minutes to cover just cause you just cannot see. And through the glare, I'm just trying to see any kind of shape. And if the shape has, so far I think today the giveaway has been the lower fins are green or there's a copper color to the back. Outside of that, I got nothing. Can you see under my bank? I can partially. Partially, okay. Yeah, so the, the reality is, is where it gets really foamy. Yeah. Here where I'm pointing. Yeah. Partial glimpses through the foam. Yeah. If it's going to be here, it's going to be in the next 15 yards tops. Yeah, I didn't think you'd see anything. So I'm just going to get a little closer because if the fish is on the seam line on your side, I wouldn't see it. That's how, that's how tight the angles are. In that water, I would doubt very much the fish is underneath my bank with that kind of increased flow. So far today, they've all been kind of out happily feeding on your side of the current. So again, we've got a corner here where it's just all glare to me and all I'm doing, my only job is to look for a rise. I'm staying well back of Dave who is across from me and he's slowly working his way up and turning that corner as he's looking for fish because he says he can see he's got the dark backdrop a bit of this bank which helps him to see into that water whereas i've just got complete glare just saw fish rise guys right across and up i don't see it now but i know where it was i don't know where it is now that's the problem crazy okay drop me to my knees kind of thing amazing how they can disappear hey now that fish is right over there it's risen a couple more times my trouble is i don't have it right right now i think i do but i don't know 100 percent Okay, so I just have a little mayfly merger, guys. I'm just going to only do the wings and the front hackle. I'm going to leave the back end just to ride in the water. And this fish is directly across from me, so move that rod slowly. I'm pretty sure he's there at home. I'm just waiting for movement. Okay, here we go. To the bank. No, little wind gust got me. Wow. The wind just shifted on me mid cast. I know that's lame, but it's true. Yeah. 
he had all morning to eat that and he followed it all the way to here no kind of got the smallest beetle i have i think ready Refused a little size 16 beetle. Okay. But he took the same cast, same fly, four feet off the bank. What were the odds of that? First cast was perfect, refused. Second cast was terrible. And he came charging out to eat it. So, you know, take your take your pick. Which is the better cast, right? Little barbless beetle. Can't believe he refused. Holy cow! Just amazing spot. Awesome. There we go. That's a gorgeous fish, really. Okay. Anytime, love. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go for it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, that, was cool. <laughs> that was fun. Just right there. And how many times we come on this flat? And I think probably one every three times. It's usually somewhere in here. And this time I just saw a subtle little rise. Just there. Okay. And then I got on my knees and uh, refused the beetle. The beetle landed like right here, right to his nose. Up. Oh, Nope. I was like, okay, his wow. next cast was like, I don't know, a full half a rod length away from the fish, and he just came and over. He comes, comes over. So, <laughs> what's the best cast? Yeah, what is the best cast? Yeah. Do you draw the fish to your fly? Yeah, again? well, you terrestrials you, draw that's, them. That's the thing. Terrestrials, you draw them. And it seems that that's what they want exactly. quite often, right? Is they want to go to it. It's so interesting. Of course, from back there, I was getting a completely different view. You and know, you're just and probably seeing the dimple on the glare, seeing, hey? Just seeing the rises, yeah, and enjoying that you were having a session for yourself and okay. seeing everything. Because I see what you see Yeah, now. exactly, yeah. Okay, let's get you on the rod and let's get up into the tussocks. If we're not careful, that Norwest might pick up and blow the clouds apart. In the back end, yeah, I'm just backing. Oh, right on the edge of that. Clump of foam. Clump of foam? Yeah. Far side? No, this side, love. Yeah, yeah, I just, gotcha. Just there. I'm looking. Just on the edge of the foam line, on the seam line. I wouldn't... Okay. You know? Trying to get a view. Of you there. He's right across from you. Right on the foam right line. Right across from me. Right across, yeah. Okay. Foam, big pump now. Okay. On that too. Right there. There he comes. On the water. On the water. On the water. On the water. He's gonna have a chance. He's coming down. He's gonna look at that right. Yes. Got him. Yes. What a Good fish. Just... What a fish. What a fish. <laughs> Good job. I'm going down. Have no choice. Boy, he just showed up, eh? Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Boy, did he ever. That, that fish. Yeah, I'm not ready. Not ready. No, 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 no. That one's not good. I know. Can I bring him out this way? Is I have a coming? chance. He's definitely coming. Okay, good. He's definitely coming. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Yeah, whoa. Okay, he's on that. I know. Can't do much here. Do you want me to have a go at that? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. No. Here, here he's go. out. Good. I gotta bring good. him down. You're good. Okay. Fine. We're going down a bit. There we go. In the net. Woo! Yes. <laughs> wow. I like that one. That eat and the way that fish appeared, kind of out of nowhere, glowing on the surface for us, it was super cool. Oh, wow. What a fish. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Look at the golden on his belly. Wicked. Yeah. Down, up, and goes. Here we go. 
<laughs> out he goes. Well, it's funny because when you're walking up into this run, it was just there's nothing in that great run that used to always have a fish. This is our second time that, here this year, and no. And this, I was just going, there's no way we're going to see a fish. Not with this glare, not with how dark. Yes. Like, it just stopped raining for the last three days. It's been raining and cloudy and, and like this. And I'm like, how are we going to see it? Oh, and then suddenly there's a fish that's subsurface going so down. Yeah. That's how you're going to see it. That's how we're going to see it. Yeah, slightly sort of tannic, slightly off color hey, water. Did you, did you see that six pound gold yeah, bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah you I did. saw that. Yeah, okay. We good. saw <laughs> it glowing. Yeah. That's how you see fish. Uh, yeah, and that's the beauty, guys, of also fishing with a partner, right? Because yeah. you each pick up different stuff, right? And so, yeah. Anyway, good times, man. Onward, Real baby. good times. <laughs> Okay, so since that drizzle picked up, that fish just kind of went deeper or swam off or something changed in its world. Moved a bit, huh? Definitely moved off. So, do we want to wait? Of course we do. So again, guys, at least a rod. I'm about a rod and a half back. Yes, I can't see right there. Glare, 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 but if you just wait, eventually a fish will cycle around. I gotta be more than one fish here too, but the rain's picking up, so let's just wait it out. Gorgeous fish rose. There again. Wow. off the right oh did I just butcher this short by inches hopefully I didn't kill that for you okay. try it again I actually didn't wait long enough. His head was lingering in the surface film. Yeah, he just lingered. I thought he was gonna come up and go down. No, he sat there and lingered under the surface. So, that's a big fish. The four X and a size 16 mayfly. Yeah, I got it. Whatever happens here, happens here. Gorgeous fish, thanks for seeing that one for me. Like that head was just came up, lingered, lingered. And I sat and I was like, I, I, yeah. yeah, it actually kind of felt really weird. So hopefully he'll come to the bottom of the run. Jeepers creepers. What a stunning moment in time that was. Yeah. You know, just absolutely stunning fish. I actually, I actually shocked myself that I got a piece of anything on that because it was such a delay. Yeah, it's just a little mayfly too, so I gotta be cognizant of that. 4X? 4X size 16 mayfly. So it's not tiny, tiny, but it's small enough that a big male head, you know what I'm saying. So what I'm doing right now is standing in the tail out, trying to get shallow, trying to roll this fish around. Uh, okay, that's the fold maybe. Is this the fold? Oh, come on fish. Fold it this way, Dave. Fold it that way. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Oh yeah. Oh, what right. a gorgeous, stunning fish. <laughs> Not really, huge, Dave. but just stunning gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, that fish, you know? <laughs> oh, thanks, Mills. Wicked. What a fish. <laughs> yeah. Just a stud. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, yeah, that mayfly is in the. 
just in the corner of the mouth there. What a stunning fish. What a stunner. Here we go. Wicked. <laughs> what a fish. Thanks, Mills. Hey, thank you. I'm thrilled, man. I know you are. Okay, it was one of those really rubbery noses, guys. Yeah. Those dark rubbery noses that I could see from my angle because I was right behind that fish. Yeah. And yeah, filming your your brown little mayfly coming in and him. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yeah. And if you got somebody that sees a fish like that, thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> we need your support. Ours is a small channel with low views because we're focused on sharing the how-to to benefit you and your fly fishing. YouTube pays very little, yet this video took two full long work days to edit, a day to film, and had substantive travel costs. We ask you to consider supporting this channel by becoming a channel supporter or joining our full digital membership through our website at jensenflyfishing.com. Here you gain access to all of our fly fishing master courses, short courses, and special productions. You also get access to the extended, ad-free versions of all of our YouTube videos with the behind the scenes producer's notes that dive into the subtle points of the conditions and the why behind what we do and share. We sincerely thank you for your support. It's the only way this channel continues.